This is creepy. Hey, look over there! It's a child. What a cool... Oh, I shouldn't say that. <laughs> She's all by herself, right? It look... Why is this lady just walking? What the... F okay, oh, yes. Because she's acting as if she's talking and laughing with somebody else. Uh, Paimon's creeped out. Honestly speaking, we're the creepy ones. We're watching the child. What? You mean, you used to act like that too? Uh, so is this an invisible friend who hangs out with you sometimes? Or do they just exist in your imagination? Um... I'm confused by the, <laughs> these responses. I was going to say the second one. Imagination... Imaginary. Yes. Oh, you must mean imagined friend, right? Why didn't you just say so? So, I hate this you, imaginary friend of yours. When does Paimon get to meet them? <sighs> Seriously? So, imaginary friends just disappear when you grow up? Yes, they, 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 they die. Oh, they die. Paimon was looking forward to meeting yours. Hey, don't suppose your brother has an imaginary friend too? Oi, 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 you saw brother but that's your sister. What the fuck? No okay. way! Well, all right. You guys are so lucky. Because <laughs> they have this game in Liyue. Have you heard of it? It's a four-player game, but it seems you guys could play it with just the two of you. I... <sighs> Paimon has the brain of an egg. Oh, Traveler. Fancy meeting you here. Hello, small god. Ah, oh, Tone Deaf Bard. What are you doing here? <laughs> I'm here because Lisa has been making some exciting new contraptions. Wait, does Lisa make shit? <laughs> Lisa's contraptions make Paimon so nervous. I don't know, Paimon, you figure it out. Come now, that's no way to speak about the elegant Miss Lisa. She is fine, though. For this particular contraption, Lisa had to import some dangerous materials from Sumeru. Because <laughs> phrase that Sumeru. Uh... Dangerous? Oh. Yes. <laughs> I know, right? Apparently, though, it's called an Urnama detector. What the hell is Nur 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 Mama Nur Nur Nama? Sadly, Nur -Nama. Lisa isn't able to use it herself, so I'm borrowing it for a while, and also I'm testing it out for her to see okay. if it actually works. Okay. Huh? Why can't Lisa use it? Hmm. Perhaps it's because she lacks a certain childlike sense of wonder, or maybe there's some other reason for it. If you want to know for God? sure, just ask her yourself know. sometime. Okay. So you can see them? Go on, tell us. What does his imaginary friend look like? Huh. <laughs> that would be telling. Anyway, it's all yours now, traveler. Take a look. See if you can see Nora's imaginary friend. I'm so confused. What Do you the see fuck? Him? Do you see him? Ah, so it does work for you too. Manasa is spying on. Two girls, I mean one girl is firing two little girls. This is getting weird. I don't like this mission. Paimon wants to see? Wait, but this gizmo isn't in Paimon's size. What the fuck is a Paimon, Paimon size? Alright then, you'll just have to be Paimon's eyes on the ground. Let's go see what everyone's imaginary friends look like. This is the weirdest shit I have done so far in this game. That's not a lot of weird shit in this game. The flower shop always seems kinda floaty headed, you know? Paimon bets she has an imaginary friend. This is weird. This is a weird mission. Oh, wow, another little girl. Hmm. There it is! What the hell? Behold, a floaty imaginary friend for floaty headed flora! A bloaty floaty! What is this, this, this Wait, thing? Imaginary friends can be plants now? <laughs> Hi, Traveler. Hi, Bard. Sure. How can I help? This is a... It's a uh. Hmm. Oh, you mean Mr. Floaty? Most people can't see him. Mr. Floaty is my bestest friend. We grew up together. <sighs> no fair. Paimon hates feeling left out. 
course you do find one. Of course Flora, you do. Flora, why exactly are you friends with a bloaty floaty? What's wrong with it? I always wanted to be friends with a plant who could fly. Friends with a flying plant? Why? I have so many questions. <laughs> because then when it's windy, you and your friend can fly off into the sky together. You gotta admit that's pretty cool. Respect. Isn't that called being blown away? <laughs> that's what some people like to call it. I only found out this plant existed from an explorer who told me stories of his adventures. I think his name was... Stanley. Huh. Stanley. I don't know who that is. Stanley's an adventurer. And you can tell he's an expert at it from the stories he tells. <laughs> okay. The amazing adventures of Stanley are super famous in Mondstadt. Points for cuteness. Points for... For cuteness. He's I, in the I city guess. at the uh -huh. moment. You should go ask what him to tell you some what of his the stories. Shit no, fight some shit. Not, not look up people's fucking like imaginary friends or some 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 stuff. I don't that know. sounds like a fun idea for next time. But uh, right now we have other things to attend to. Yes, we do. You trap. Floor is a pretty mysterious kid. Oh my god! If Timmy is one of his hmm. dad, I'm gonna freaking lose my head. Which child shall we interrogate next? Oh, how about that little guy on the bridge? Hello, Timmy. What the hell, what the hell, what the hell, what is that? That's not, not something. That's a ruin guard. Why does he have a ruin guard? No way! Well, uh, that is unexpected. Yes, yes it is. Timmy's imaginary friend is a ruins guard? Heh, <laughs> puns. Paimon's freaking out right now. That thing is sure to attack us. Eh, we'll see. Uh, <laughs> uh, what say you we postpone our conversation with Timmy for the time being? Huh? Paimon has a favorite line? Uh, seriously? That, wait, does he oh, really have a catchphrase? Right? I never realized then? that if that's a thing. How about we explore the area ahead of us later? Oh, because when I touch a boy, okay. Children okay. are more open minded. Is that why they can think of all kinds of imaginary friends? Ah, <sighs> fitting, isn't it? That the city of freedom should be home to children with such boundless powers of imagination. What about adults' imaginations? Let's ask oh, some adults let's some the perverted tavern. shit. Let's go. <laughs> oh, look, is that dialogue? Okay, yeah, okay. The thing about wine is, you have to drink it at the tavern, or you miss out on half the fun. Seems to me you'd find some way of keeping yourself amused, even if you drank alone. <laughs> if I didn't know any better, I would say you're being deliberately uncivil. This mouth is not moving. Just drink responsibly on my premises. He doesn't okay? look like he cares. <laughs> oh, and if I did have one too many, what then? You'd throw me out along with the trash, is that it? Throw you out? You know, the same way you threw out Father's legacy. You sold off his mansion. Or maybe you forgot. What is happening? I see no reason to cling to things that have outlived their purpose. Is that so? Then I trust you were most swift indeed to part with a certain vase? Sorry. I have no recollection. I've seen this base before. That's odd. Because Master Diluc definitely has a vase at home. A beautiful one. Unmistakable, in fact. What am I watching for? There's nothing. Seems our suspicions were right. Grown-ups don't appear to have imaginary friends. Like I said, a lack of childlike wonder. So people just stop dreaming when they grow up? Okay, well, Paimon, for one, never wants to grow up. Paimon, I don't know how old you are, or are you, I don't know what you are, but I don't think hmm. you can. This raises an interesting question. At what age exactly do people's imaginary friends disappear? I do not know. Let's go and check. Hmm. How about Ellen? Someone
someone of her age surely must have some imagination left, don't you think? I don't even know how old people uh -oh. are, man. Somehow, Paimon finds the idea of not being able to see Ellen's imaginary friend kind of scary. Oh my god, it's Jean. Oh my god, it's Jean. What? Jean? What is Jean doing here? Is Master Jean Ellen's imaginary friend? Yeah, she's so conscientious. It's terrifying. This is weird. Hmm? Oh, hello. What are you guys doing? Are you always training here? You bet. Today, I heard Stanley talking about his adventures. It was incredible. It got me really pumped up. Oh, I hope I can be as outstanding as him one day. So that you can fight shoulder to shoulder with Master Jean? <laughs> I, I mean, obviously I want to become a knight. And if I got to go on an adventure with Jean herself, well, even better. Man, I've been an adventure with Jean dialogue. Okay, uh, I, the whole freaking... A lot of them. Seems Ellen really looks up to Jean. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. Oh, thanks. I was thinking, it's not every day I get to hang out with the honorary knight. Would you join me for some sword training? Finally, something to do. Let's go. Huh. How can I smash all these training dummies at once? Yo, yes. yes. huh. So that's how to do it. I'm impressed. I got you. Oh, thank you. It's clear I still have a long way to go in my training. <laughs> so modest. I, for one, think you're quite the pro at this already. Oh, well, I'm exhausted from training, so clearly my fitness needs some work. One day, though, I'll smash all the training dummies in Mondstadt. Maybe aim for higher? Ellen, Ellen, she's our girl. If she can't do it, um, beauty girl. You were going good, Paimon. You were going good. Ah, oh, thanks. Shoot, I got so caught up here I forgot there's something I was supposed to do today. Let me do it. Ugh, but I'm so sore from training. I can hardly move. Let me do it. Honorary Knight, could you deliver a message to Jack for me? Yes. He's gone adventuring at the Temple of the Lion with Stanley today. Stanley's a truly legendary adventurer, renowned in all of Mondstadt. He once set foot in the Mare Javari. The we were gonna meet Javari. up tonight and discuss adventure plans. <sighs> Could you let him know it'll have to be another day? Why not? Great! Thank you so much. One word. A lion? We explored this place once before, didn't we? During the Storm Terror incident. Seems like it's now a hot spot for adventurers. That can only mean one thing. We didn't bag all the loot last time! Looks like we can't go any further. Not to worry. Allow me. What? Those who wander in the dust, the wind oh, shall send too. soaring sky high. Hello, leave it to Venti for, for his to do. Hey, are those guys... Yeah. Oh, okay. Venti, Venti, Time ready. for takeoff. Yeah, we'll Everybody stand back. Out of the way. Okay, oh. hey, we did it. Hello. Can we get seven? Damn it! I want to loot. <sighs> <sighs> Hello, Stanley. I was so sure I was about to die. Well, you didn't. To be fair, that could have gone either way. <laughs> so, you must be Jack the Adventurer, I assume? Yes. Who are you? Actually, we came looking for you. Ellen has a message for you. She said she won't be able to join you today to plan out your next adventure together. She'll join you some other time. Oh, I see. I feel bad you had to come all this way to find oh, me. Goes just in the back and and then had to rescue thing. me. Huh? I don't see what all the fuss is about. It was nothing that I, Stanley, couldn't have dealt with by myself. You sound like a fraud, bro. Whoa! 
You are Stanley? You are that legendary adventurer? Renowned in all of Mondstadt? Who once set foot in the Mare Javari? <laughs> the very same. Cocky bastard. <laughs> I must say, it's an honor to meet one as legendary as yourself. Well then, how would everyone like to proceed? Head back or head further inside? <laughs> well, I think you're now in the safe hands of Stanley, the great explorer and legend of Mondstadt. In which case, why head back now? Okay. okay, motion passed by unanimous consent. Let's head further in. This guy is way too enthusiastic. I like it. So, I'm guessing you mostly came here because you want to hear my adventure stories. Am I right? No, Not really. We really were just looking for Jack. Yep. Oh, what? Go for Do you know who I am? I am Stanley, renowned adventurer of Monster. That's great, bro. That's, that's yeah, great. I think we got that. Well, your attitude says maybe you don't got that. I am Stanley, the living legend. Stanley, who braved the man Jabari. Enough already. Ugh. Stop name dropping yourself every time you open your mouth. Yeah, it really is annoying. It's true, though. Stanley is the most amazing guy. <laughs> well, Jack will listen, won't you? No. There's two bucks Where here. Was yeah. You and your partner reached the Mare Javari, a famously terrifying place with not a wisp of wind. Precisely. There was a deathly silence in the air. A sea of ashes stretched out before us, as far as the eye could see. The Mare Javari. Suddenly, my partner was caught in a whirlpool whipped up by an evil beast. Luckily, I managed to grab hold of him just in time. So, did he make it? Sadly, in the end, I know he was able to set foot on home ground once more. With the gentle breeze carried away the tears welling up in my eyes. <laughs> Poor guy. Really. How could that happen? Jack, you can't cry so easily if you want to be a great adventurer. <laughs> I, I know, because an adventurer's proudest achievement is to die in the course of their final adventure. But whatever happens, no adventurer should ever die in a place where the wind doesn't blow. The wind has ah. to bring your spirit back to Mondstadt. Touch you. That's right. To die in a place where the wind blows and to have your spirit carry back to Mondstadt on the wind. That's yeah. Although, the most I can aspire to right now is beginner's commissions. Like clearing out the slimes, clogging up the sewers. You shouldn't die in a place with no wind. Why do they keep going on about that? Hmm. Is that why Stanley thinks the Mare Javari is the most terrifying place in the world? Because there's no wind there? Oh, Traveler, I believe I've made a small discovery. Could I ask you to use the Nernama detector once more? Why not? Oh. Okay. What? Stanley has an imaginary friend? It seems his imaginary friend is a seasoned warrior, covered in scars from head to foot, and a look of staunch determination on his face. You're saying his imaginary friend is an idealized version of his own self? Basically. Interesting idea. But is it true? It is. Please excuse me. Uh, I'll be leaving now. Okay. Bye, Stanley. Do you two still have time to spare? What is it? I'm not. A few days ago, Stanley got drunk and told me a secret. Something he's never told anyone before. That looks rather nice, bro. You better hurry up. The weapons he took on his adventure all those years ago. They were none other than those once wielded by Mondstadt's greatest hero, Vanessa herself. 
The sword of brilliant valor, and the shield of magnificent honor. Hmm. I don't know whether you believe me, but apparently, both the sword and shield are still right here in Mondstadt, over in Dadaupa Gorge. Since you guys are the experts at this, can you come with me to try and retrieve these two legendary weapons? I know it. You bet! This is Stanley we're talking about. If I can just get a hold of something impressive enough to show my family what I'm capable of, maybe they'll finally come around to the idea of me being an adventurer. Huh. Why not? Right now, Good. I'm just a rookie. My abilities are limited, and my parents don't support hey, my hey, goals. Dude, you're so, starting. what do you say? You're just Help a guy out? Yeah, why not? I can't bring myself to tell Stanley about it because my reasons are so uh, selfish. But I swear I'll give the weapons back to him as soon as I'm done. Aww, yep. Poor Jack. Let's help him out. Yeah, no. Venti, you coming too? I said this like a million times. Mm, I don't know. Oh, one other thing. I have a bottle of rare vintage wine that I had someone fetch for me a couple years ago. Help me find these weapons, and it's all yours. Uh, Dada Upa Gorge, was it? <laughs> Let's hurry. Oh, There's you, no time to lose. You drunken gourd. God? God. I said gourd. Hi, Stanley. That's weird. Hey, back yeah. to Ultra. Sure it is. Are they holding some kind of ceremony? And what's with that pile of knickknacks? Are they worshipping them? Seems so. That must be the sword of brilliant valor, surely! Oh, whoa, 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 chill, 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 chill. I'm just here for the sword. Sword of Valor. What is this? Looks old. <laughs> Lo and behold, the Sword of Brilliant Valor. Are you sure? Looks kind of basic to Paimon, and a little worse for wear, too. Why would Hilly Trolls be bowing down before a piece of junk like this? Uh, uh seems somebody tossed huh. an old sword into a pile of spoils these Hilly Trolls were already celebrating. This is in terrible shape, and it's so basic, I... <sighs> I'm at a loss for words. Hey man, you didn't fight all the Holy Kills, man. I did. Hmm... Sir Jack, have you ever seen an Animo Crystal Fly? They're found in the open country around Mondstadt City. If you saw one in broad daylight, you wouldn't bat an eyelid. But in the pitch blackness of night, its brilliant glow is mesmerizing. It truly resembles an exquisite crystal dancing in the night air. Okay, where are you going with this? Is Valor not the same? When everything is going your way, it seems meaningless. Fades into the background. But when you're in dire straits, Valor is the thing that gets you fired up and fighting back. It's the brilliant ray of light that guides you out from the darkness. You're right. Uh -huh. You're right. Then this has to be it. This is the Sword of Brilliant Valor. Is it? <laughs> mm -hmm. So, we got our sword. Now we just need that shield. Let's scout around. It's definitely in Dada Upa Gorge, so... Uh, huh? There's what? somebody there. Stanley, what are you doing? Stanley? What's he doing here? He's acting so weird. He really is, Paimon. Like, all of us did not notice this. What happened? Why did you stop all of a sudden? Uh huh? Oh, uh, it's nothing. Uh, just one of those Mora spouting weasel thieves pass by is all. I've killed one of those before. What? Where? I, I want to see. <laughs> Maybe another time. <laughs> we have a shield to find, remember? Let's go. Okay, we got <laughs> this right now. Over here? Found it. Is that a shield? 
Lo and behold, the shield of magnificent honor. Liar, liar, pants on fire. It's a chunk of wood. A chunk of scrap wood with the handle attached. Who in their right mind would use this as a shield? There's also wine stains on it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this was just taken from a wine barrel. <laughs> and yet, my bard's intuition tells me that this is none other than the Shield of Magnificent Honor. Warriors wear their battle scars with pride, and shields are no different. Surely an intact shield is one that has shied away from the battlefield. Is not the broken Guys. and splintered shield the one that has fought in countless wars and lived to tell the tale? No, that's a barrel cover. Though the soldier's body be tired and torn, still they fight till the very end, till they have no blood left to bleed. Such magnificent strength of will. Is that not the true meaning of honor? Why not, Vendy? Let's just go with it. You have a point. Shiny new shields don't stay new and shiny for long. I mean, you're dumb. Okay, then. Well, maybe if we ask nicely, he'll just let us take the shield of magnificent... No. No. Ahem. Excuse me, Mr. Hilly Churro? Dada? <laughs> well, okay. You take it from here. Hope you've picked up some Hilly Churlian by now. If not, there's always body language. Then plant Dada. Yes. What? Is the French meter? Musi Mita? Seems cheerful what enough. Else? Maybe negotiating will work after all. Uh, this. Hey, let's go. We see me. I don't know what I'm doing. Seems cheerful enough. Maybe negotiating will work after all. Oh, that didn't work. Uh oh, he did not seem to appreciate that. Um. Oh yeah, he actually gave us the shield. I talked to Holy Trill, boys. We did it. Guys, thank you so much. I can't believe I actually found them. Mom, Dad, check out the legendary weapons I found. Who? Cool. Hey, wait! The wine, you promised! Oh, and I actually helped a lot this time. Ah, oh, Venti, you selfish bastard. Hmm? What are you doing here, Stanley? Out for a stroll? Uh. <laughs> Uh, hey, <laughs> what are you doing here, Bard? Fancy that, huh? You, um, uh, out for a stroll, too? Obviously not, but Oh, okay. that's right. An after-dinner stroll, to be precise. We were also helping a friend look for something. Paimon's starting to think Stanley might be a fraud. Definitely Did fraud, Stanley no plant friend. the sword and shield here in advance so as to not hurt Jack's Healing? It makes sense. Adventurers must be pretty familiar with Dada Upa Gorge. You fought battles here before, after all. <laughs> you better believe it. I can navigate this whole area with my eyes closed. Man, you're full of shit. Wow. Then I admire your perseverance. And your memory, too. It's only to be expected of a great adventurer like me. Uh -huh, uh -huh. You guys had better watch out, though. This place is crawling with Bro, they just befriended a holy troll. I, uh, I'll get back to my, um, uh, stroll now. Goodbye. See you later, dude. You, you person. Guilty conscience, much? <laughs> well, he shouldn't have gotten so carried away bragging to Jack, should he? True facts. True facts. Although, on further reflection, I must say I'm intrigued. Man, you're... I don't know, you're just annoying at this point. <laughs> Someone who can't let go of the past and gives up on the present instead. I wonder, if such a person was forced to take their first step towards the future, which way would they go? If no else, the front... What are you talking about? <laughs> I'm just musing to myself. Oh, this is talking, he's talking about himself. Okay. Anyway, I propose we take a trip to Angel's Share tonight. That's the best idea you had so far. Let's go get drunk. Hello, dialogue, as usual. What's going on, Stanley? This is weird. Tell me, Stan. 
Tell me what should I do? Huh? What? Why does he keep repeating his own name? <laughs> Surely not. Even I've never heard tell of a second Stanley. This is weird, bro. Oh, Stanley. It should have been me. I should have been the one to die in the Melchibari that day. Why won't your spirit come and stop me from using your name? Why is Oh shit, Stanley was the one that died, okay. If only you hadn't had to save a rookie like me, you would have never died in that windless corner of the world. You were a renowned adventurer, destined to become a legend one day. But now, that'll never happen, because your life was cut short, and all because of a worthless tag along. Oh man, this is kind of sad actually. Uh, does anyone get what's going on here? I think our friend really did make it to the Mare Javari. And I think the tragedy he encountered there was real too. God, this feels like just like an anime. Oof, the chills. But the real adventurer, the real Stanley, that was his partner, not him. Oh my god, this is amazing. The real Stanley is the one who died to save our Stanley. Wait, so the only reason our Stanley is called Stanley in the first place is because he stole the other Stanley's name? Not stole, someone. Carries on. I fear that may be the case. Stanley, for so many years I've lived in fear. Fear that Mondstadt will forget all about you. So I tell you adventure stories at every opportunity. Man, this is so sad now. Mondstadt must remember. Stanley reached the center of the Madjabari. He's the greatest adventurer there ever was, and he lives on. Yes, he does. Oh, Stanley. Stanley will never die, because I am Stanley. I am Stanley. Holy shit, this is taking a different turn. I'm sorry, Stanley. I'm getting too old. Now. <sighs> Are you guys planning on eavesdropping much longer? Damn, bro. <laughs> he knows right away. Yikes! We're busted! Finally, you're facing him. Of course, you're busted. <sighs> Why not? Let's do this. Let me have a seat. Let's talk, Stanley. Let's do this. <sighs> Go away. Save your questions. Just leave me in peace. But man, I was I was saying that. Okay. Leave now. Don't make me tell you. Yeah. All right, Stanley. All right, chill, bro. Honorary Knight, Venti, and Paimon. I'm so glad you guys are here. What's up, bro? I've been looking for you everywhere. I wanted to thank you again for helping me find the sword and shield. My parents are finally supporting me. No problem, bro. Oh, really? Yeah, really. They even said they're going to pay for someone to fix up the sword of brilliant valor and shield of magnificent honor for me so I can take them out on the road. That's wonderful. So, Jack, is this the part where you bid farewell to Mondstadt and set off on your intrepid trip traversing to that? No, not yet. I still don't have what it takes to go too far from home just yet. Man. Alright, well, you don't even have a vision, so it makes sense. Besides, I'm sure Stanley still has a few stories left to tell. <laughs> They're what inspired me to become an adventurer in the first place. Stanley, I... Oh, you're drunk again. Yep. We'll see you tomorrow, then. After your hangover wears off. Maybe you can tell me some more of your stories? Such a sad Stanley's story, really fond of that kid, don't you think? Uh, Jack. Jack. Jack left. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I see. Well, thank you for not telling him about my secret. Hey, no problem, bro. No problem. Huh? All of a sudden, you're facing the facts? That isn't like you. Just now, I couldn't bear to look at him. His adventurous spirit is so pure, unblemished. This mission doesn't end like you, bro, that's all. Just a weary old feckless fraud. But that kid is a brand new shining star 
full of potential. I cannot allow his dreams to be crushed. Then guide him, Stanley. Guide him. Mm, you're not a total fraud. Stanley's adventure stories and experiences, they're all true, aren't they? Stories? Experiences? What's the point of them anymore? Man, I fall a dragon. To be honest, my memories of adventuring and of Stanley, they're hazy these days. That's my biggest secret of all. And my biggest fear. All these years, I've been living to tell his story. But his personality and the details of his life, I don't remember them clearly anymore. <laughs> but the one thing I can never forget is that he died in a windless land where his spirit can never be recovered. Oh my god, this is so heartbreaking. Exactly. Even in his memory, the real Stanley isn't the living, breathing friend he knew at all. Instead, he's become fixed on the image of him as that battle-scarred warrior. And that image has held him captive his entire life. Yo, this is, this is, this is deep, bro. I'm too old. I never let go. But still, so much has slipped away. I'm completely and utterly worthless. No, you're not. No adventurer should have that. to go that way. No adventurer ever. Jesus Christ. Hans oh, Archibald. <sighs> My true name? How did you know? <laughs> Whoa, bro. This the is wind. Cool. I, I can hear the wind blowing in the Mare Javari. <gasps> I always believed you Holy existed. shit, what is this? What is going on? Will you hand me your old friend's spirit? Huh? Huh? Oh my god, bro. That shit just blew my mind. I, I can't believe it. Thank you all. And thank you, Lord Barbados. I'm sorry. It's gonna take me some time to calm back down. Yo, yo, <laughs> bro, what the hell? But I think that I'm gonna be okay. Ah, oh, wonderful! Stanley reconnected with his true self and Jack can finally go his own way! Venti, oh my god, you're such a good person, it's dumb. This calls for a celebration! And by celebration, I do, of course, mean libation. And by libation, you mean you're not leaving this tavern till you're too drunk to walk, right? Let's go! <laughs> no, the wine here's too expensive. Jack still owes me some wine, though. He promised me a rare vintage in exchange for helping him out, remember? True, let's go get I'll it. I'll head off to fetch the wine. See you shortly. Let's meet at the usual place. I got you, bro. Huh? Where's that supposed to be? Why has Paimon never heard of it? I'll hey, don't that bar! I'll just say see you there. Well, hey! Let's go to the usual place. Finally. Oh my god. You made it. Finally. That's what I've been saying. Just tell us where you meet next time, okay? <laughs> we looked everywhere. Actually, I knew where it was. <sighs> so, did you at least manage to find your wine? Yep. <laughs> well, <laughs> sort of. Jack made it out to be a rare collector's edition vintage. When actually it's just a half bottle of regular cider. <laughs> ah, this takes me back. Ah, this game is beautiful. It is. The first time I saw this view, I hadn't even taken on this form yet. It was about 2600 years ago, before the world had come under the rule of the Seven. Mm -hmm. At that time, old Mondstadt was ruled by a tyrant, who sealed off the city's perimeter with a ferocious hurricane. 
Even the birds couldn't get in or out. Old Mondstadt? Oh, Paima remembers! Nowadays it's known as Storm Terror's Lair, right? You mentioned it before! That's right. The Tyrant of the Winds who once ruled from that tower was Decarabian, God of Storms. Decarabian, that sounds cool. Back then, I was but a wisp among the thousand winds. I wasn't a god of anything. I didn't even have a human form. Wait, the one you wasn't even human? I was just a tiny elemental being who lived in the wind. A gentle breeze bringing subtle changes for the better. Or tiny seeds of hope. A tiny elemental being? Without a human form? Venti, do you mean you used to look different than you do now? Yep. My current form is not so different from the situation with fake Stanley. <laughs> I took the form of a friend. No wonder. No wonder you look like a girl. In old Mondstadt transpired the story to be told. Where a tyrant ruled, I met a boy not that old. Okay. A liar he played, and for a song he sought. But storm walls blocked blue sky, he was sincerely distraught. I do so wish to see the birds in flight, said he, his strong eyes filling with light. But his voice was lost in the howling wind's churn. For the whirlwind takes and gives not in return. The true sky and songs that cageless soar, were they not wishes worth fighting for? This is amazing. So the boy turned, extending his hand. Let us cast down the tyrant and his walls from this land. The young boy raised in okay. the flag of revolt, and I threw myself into freedom's tumult. Victorious were we who fought to be free. Gods fell, winds whipped, nations shook violently. Damn, bro, this is amazing. In the smoke, a despot met his doom. And we oh, watched no. as his great tower fell none too soon. Mondstadt began anew. The story passed down. I just saw a dialogue, right? And since I'm not then, mistaken. never has another worn its crown. So then what? Wait, 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 why was dialogue there? Is, is, what? What happened to your friend? Say, Paimon, do you wish to hear the next part of the story? Yes, of course! The suspense is killing Paimon! But Venti's telling his story! What makes you suddenly want to have a meat feast? Man, just do what I tell you to do. Damn. <laughs> Getting a little... Peckish or something. Huh. Paimon's had it up to here with you. Paimon, just do us a favor, please. God, you're so annoying sometimes. <sighs> you know, you're so smart, it almost makes me uncomfortable sometimes. I know, I know. But then, maybe it's right that true friends can tell what the other is thinking. A refreshing drink, a gentle breeze... <sighs> Moments like this always take me back. Back to a song that I first heard from him. Yeah, I'm listening. Fly, fly away. Like a bird in the sky. See the world on my behalf. To the heavens may you fly. Yo, this was fucking amazing, bro. Oh my god. It, it, oh, I don't know what to say anymore, Venti. You, you just made my day, bro. You just... Uh. Oh, this is amazing. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And uh, if you guys want to see more of this, let me know, man. I'm, I'm, I'm taking away right now. This is amazing. I'll catch you guys later. Let's go.